What's up, Fondy? Today we're going to be talking about sports and weather. weather. What's up, Fondy? My name's Daniel. And my name's Alex. And we love sports. Fondy. We are happy to announce that Steven Jorgensen will be the new football coach at Fond du Lac High School for their 2019 season. Varsity softball won both against Beaver Dam 7-0 and 7-1. Also, girls won 12-3 at Appleton West. Nice job, ladies. Baseball took a tough loss against Appleton West 5-4. Boys Tennis has officially started their season with a scrimmage at West Bend this Tuesday. And J.B. Black had a great win over Appleton West, 5-0. And for girls track, Brooke McDowell winning in the 300-meter dash with an outstanding 49.46 seconds. Wow! She was flying. Other notable performances, Ali Schmidt in the 400-meter dash. Sydney Arndt in the 300-meter dash and also the 200-meter dash. And Kelly Haas in the long jump. That's it for today with the sports, but we've had many cancellations due to this beautiful weather we are having. So good luck to all games and drive safe. We love sports! Have a good day. Since we're done with the dance battle now, we're gonna fall back into our normal routine since it's been a while. Um, now that we're done dancing, it's time to simmer down and be really quiet. Shh, like almost whisper. <laughs> Mr. Smith gets mad when we're not loud enough on camera. So we're not gonna do that today. Anyway, the next challenge is the whisper challenge. You might be asking, what's the whisper challenge? We'll take a look at this clip here. Denied access stereo. Denied access stereo. Oh my god! Denied access stereo. Tonight I ate jello. So it was originally denied access <laughs> stereo. Okay, as usual, a mass email will be sent out to homeroom teachers and. Don't forget your earbuds, because you're going to need them for this challenge. Forget what? Your, your earbuds. Your earbuds. The, these, like these. these. Okay. But no. That's work too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we'll be going around to your homerooms on Monday, so let us know before then, and we'll hit you guys up. Bye! Live from the Cardinal TV newsroom, we have the weather with Josh and Victor. What's up, Fondy? I'm Victor, and I'm Josh. And today we're doing something different. As you can see, we've got snow on the ground, so we went out and asked you guys how you felt about the snow. I'm very upset because I just want it to be summertime. You play basketball, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Fenrick, how do you feel about the upcoming weather? Well, the upcoming weather for the weekend is going to be actually pretty pleasant. After we have three inches of snow on Wednesday, and we received a whole bunch of ice on uh, Thursday morning, well, you know, baseball is a pretty cool sport. You got the white baseball, you got the white bases. It should be pretty fun in the snow if you really think about it. As a golfer, I mean, I enjoy playing in the snow. That's why golf's like a winter sport, not a summer sport, so. Although, uh, again, this is already in the past, correct? Something like that. I really hate snow, so I'm not too happy about it. Well, when it comes to tennis, it won't affect me very much, but Andrew Park, on the other hand, and now today, look at, look at, we have beautiful strato cumulus clouds in the sky. You know what that means? That means there's a cold front coming in. A cold front that's going to drop three to five inches on Wednesday. Right? I am not happy with that. I'm not going to go outside with the snowing. I'm just going to stay inside where it's warm. Mr. Coppernell, how do you feel about the weather today? A powerful storm that's going to produce a tornado watch uh, down by Milwaukee-ish area, actually probably more Chicago, and a blizzard up in Green Bay. It's trash. We just got rid of it. It's like 70 degrees yesterday. Boo. Well, you see, I'm very confident and I can't believe that this is going to happen. It's really strange and the sea is very, very cold. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I'm totally in a different form. So basically what he said is global warming's not real. Well, since my dog died, um, it could be worse. Don't freak out about the tornado sirens. We have a tornado warning test at 1.45 and 6.30 today. Be sure to listen to your teacher's instructions. Have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for watching. That's it today, Fondy. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.